Sure, some may find his work amusing, even thought-provoking. Media have done all to everyone to be artists. As in, people who do work, their own work. But over the last 15 years, he has cost sanitation departments and museums around the EU more than 26 million euros. It's been an embarrassment for Europol and local law enforcement for years now. Six pieces of art. Six museums. Six countries. And? We're going to steal them. The Spiral is a five-part TV series with an all-star European cast. I'm in. This crime drama was broadcast simultaneously in Scandinavia, Germany, France, and the Benelux in September 2012. I'm a cop, not an artist. There's been some robberies. Six. But the story didn't end with TV. The world extended into the internet and the real world. On August 21st, six world-renowned paintings disappeared from museums across Europe. This real-world story made national news, inviting the audience to search for the missing artwork via the website thespiral.eu. Hey guys, check this out. This search would shape the spiral into the world's most ambitious collaborative artwork, proving that everyone is an artist. The spiral.eu just went live 20 seconds ago. This has got to be some kind of joke. The launch of the spiral.eu was an immediate hit. Within the total runtime of five weeks, 142,704 people searched the paintings more than one million times and uploaded over 19,000 images. To improve their chances of finding the paintings, various challenges were issued to the audience. Some of these images were even incorporated directly into the TV series. It's unbelievable. 68 people already made a Montreal sandwich. Seriously? People are actually doing this? Yeah, over 90,000 hits already. The searching for the paintings was just one way to experience the story. Online, the audience could explore and interact with the main characters and their friends. Before filming began, Arturo's warehouse community, as depicted in the series, was recreated in the real world. Together with the main cast, 30 lucky players got to experience the warehouse live in person as if it were real. The warehouse community was the first to cry out when Arturo got arrested, and even more dramatically when he got killed. The news of Arturo's death sent shockwaves through the online community, alerting players to the plot twist in advance of its reveal on the TV series. Victor Detta was shot and killed in his room in a hospital no more than 10 minutes ago. As his story continued, Gameplay became more intense and the story grew more interwoven with the game and online community. The broadcasters also furthered the story through blogs on their individual spiral mini-sites. After a five-week search, the paintings are finally recovered, leading to a rousing conclusion for both the game and the series. Okay, here goes nothing. This is the live finale that was held in front of the European Parliament building. Arturo's killers are brought to justice, and the famed artworks are returned to the museum from which they were stolen. The return of the paintings on September 28th at 9 p.m. was streamed live from all cities involved, creating a pan-European event. Within 48 hours, footage from these live events were then digitally inserted into the final episode in time for its September 30th broadcast date in eight countries. With the spiral, fiction and reality merge for the first time in television drama history. They're just artists! No. We've got no fucking choice! No. Why is this happening, Max? Think of it as Arturo 2.0.